I'm Ella Mishapito. So do you have an idea about the spirit muscle? So spirit muscle is one of the four constituents of the soul. According to William James Inskill, the principle of psychology in 1980. Seeking the meaning of life is a journey that a spiritual self is on. Hi, my name is Giselle Lanza, and let's talk more about the spiritual self. Since I will be discussing religion, let us ask some students about religion. Let's go! Good afternoon, Mama. I am your coach, Jane Can you add something? What is your religion? Catholic. So, as you can see, there are different kinds of religion. Do you know that every religion helps some different practices and contributions? Hi, I'm Helene Geiger, and I'm going to talk about cultural beliefs and uh, cultural practices that some religions have. We all know that there are different kinds of rituals. But first, we should know what is a ritual. Hi, I am Alia Alessandra Carabello, and I am the one who will be sharing about the rituals. Do you know what are the fundamental characteristics of rituals? If not, lend your ears on me. I am Irish Kubai and I will be discussing the three fundamental characteristics of rituals. Hi! Are you Christian? Am I Christian? Yes, of course. I am Christian. By the way, I'm Adrian Pacheco and I'll be the one who will be discussing about Christian. As what we all know, there are different culture and practices in every place. But in this moment, let's just focus on what Muslim means. My name is Cheryl Canuto, and let's start the discussion with the spiritual self. Go! Let's talk about the meaning of spiritual self. Spiritual self, it is the unseen part of who we are that provides ourself with insights intuition and other ways of knowing it is being beyond of our five senses in physical world the spiritual self it is the one of the four constituents of the self according to william james in his book the principle of psychology in 1980 so do you remember pa ba ang mga other constituents of the self according kay william james a material self spiritual self social self and lastly ang pure ego dira na siya ga derive ang spiritual self so spiritual self it is the ability to use moral sensibility and conscience may be seen through the expressions of religion, its beliefs, and practices. In the same manner, cultural rituals and ceremonies are some manifestation of what people believe in. So the spiritual aspects of the soul is the inner essence, the part of the self that connects the person to the sacred, to the supernatural, and to the universe. People develop spirituality through interaction, observation, and imitation. So the family, school, and church play a very important role in the child's spiritual development. The spiritual self enables the person to experience a full and feeling of oneness with a higher being in the universe and gives a deeper purpose or meaning of one's life. Do you agree, diba? So, syempre, kung ano ang um, religion sa ating mga parents, amuman ang ating sundon. Pero, hindi man kita nang kita makasunod ko ng ating religion sa ating parents, diba? Kaya samtang magadako kita, Subong damo nagapa convert depende kung ano ang in, andanga gina tuuhan and ang spiritual self kali wala lang siya ga focus in about god or ano ta gina tuuhan ga focus man siya to search kung ano ba ang purpose and meaning sa aton life diri sa kadibutan thank you seeking the meaning of 
life is a journey that the spiritual self is part of. So, kumbaga, it also has something to do with socializing or interacting with other people. Because through them, you can actually learn from them, from their pers perspective on what life they think really is. You can definitely see the meaning of life alone. So, have you ever wondered what's the point of finding what's the meaning uh, behind everything, especially in life? Kumbaga, parehas, hindi parehas sa iba, daba lang ang wala gatag sa second chance. So, there are maybe some things that are permanent, but not the life that is given to us. Maybe because it makes us believe in one thing. Ara ba lang may ginapanintugan kita sa atong kabuhay nga, ah, we should just enjoy our life while we're still alive. Because once na wala atas kalimutan, wala na ka sa may Let's talk about religion. How well do you know your religion? Today, I will discuss if what is religion. Religion is a complex and multifaceted cultural and belief system that often involves the worship of one or more deities or a belief in a higher power. It encompasses a set of practices, rituals, moral codes, and beliefs that guide the lives of its ad adherents. So, ang religion ko, no, amo ni sa ang mga taho nga may mga ginatuuhan, may mga practices, may mga beliefs about God. And do you know that religion has varied wildly around the world? then it can be first monotheistic when we say monotheistic these are the people that believe in one god amo ni sila mga taho nga may isa lang ka dios nga ginatuuhan kay ginabatihan second is polytheistic when we say polytheistic these are the people that believe in multiple god amo ni sila mga taho nga hindi lang isa or tuwa kundi damo sila mga ginapatihan nga Diyos. Amo ni sila mga damo, sila mga rituals, mga moral codes, kag mga religion, bala kong baga. Lastly is the non-theistic. These are the people that they don't believe in God. Amo ni sila mga tao nga wala sila religion or wala sila may ginapatihan nga ginoo. So, as a religious people, kita ng mga relihiyoso ng mga tao, it is a responsibility ng maghatag sa respect sa ah, pariyo taman ng may malain-lain na religion. Respetuhan ta kung ano ginapatihan, ginatuuhan nila. I'm going to discuss the difference between the spiritual self and the religion. The spiritual self is refers to an individual's personal beliefs, values, and connection to something greater than himself. Focusing on self-discovery and inner experiences. Religion, on the other hand, is a structured system of practices, beliefs, and rituals followed by a group of people, often involving established doctrines and community participation. While the spiritual self is subjective and personal, religion tends to be more communal and organized with cultural and historical influences. The presence of supernatural energy that is found on supernatural as well as physical beings and object performance of ritual activities. They believe that inanimate objects have consciousness so they perform rituals, activities, and even pray with them. This belief is called the animatism belief, and for some, they believe that in this object there is presence of spiritual energy. Articulation of world Worldview and moral codes through narrative stories provide creation of social bonds and social control within a community. They believe in one God who is the creator and ruler of the universe. Their articulation of the worldview moral codes comes from the Bible. Both Christianity and Islam have this belief. In addition, Christianity believes that God is the trinity of God, the Father, the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But for Islam, they believe in Allah, the one God. They believe in the unity, universality in one God. So what is a ritual? A ritual is a performance of ceremonial acts prescribed by tradition or sacred law. We are all aware that every religion has their different rituals. So before I gave some examples, let Irish share with you the fundamental characteristics of rituals. 
there are three fundamental characteristics of rituals. First is a feeling of respect or admiration in relation to the sacred. This characteristic indicates that rituals often involve a deep sense of reverence and respect for something that is sacred or significant. Participants in rituals typically approach the act with a strong emotional connection to the sacred elements or purpose of the ritual. The second one is dependence upon a belief system through myth. Rituals are often tied to a particular belief system or religious tradition. They rely on the beliefs and myths that are foundational to a given culture or community. Lastly, is the symbolic in relation to its reference. Rituals are symbolic acts that represent or embody deeper meanings or concepts. They use symbols, gestures, or actions to convey ideas values or stories so now let me share with you some examples of rituals in muslim and catholic in muslim they pray five times a day and join community worship on fridays at the mosque which is led by the imam so what is imam imam is the one who leads the muslim worshipers in prayer he is also known as their leader or model. Their rituals takes place in Kaaba. Kaaba is the shrine located near the center of the Great Mosque in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, which is considered by all the Muslim to be the sacred spot on earth. So the Catholics also have their rituals. It is known as the seven sacraments, the baptism, confirmation, the Eucharist, ordination, marriage, reconciliation, and the anointing of stick. So one of the most important in the seven sacraments is the baptism. So what is baptism? Baptism is a ritual prayer action through which a person becomes a member of Christian community, which is the church. Christian. We all know now that Christian is the most wide religion in the world. And Christian are monotheistic, which means gapati sa isa ka God or only one God. And ang God niya na is na nag-create ka ang heavens and earth. And Christian believes in Holy Trinity, which is God of the Father, which is Himself, the God, and the, the God of the Son, which is Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And balan nyo ang isa ka verse sa Bible, ng John verse 3, chapter 16, which is said that, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Uh, which means, you can achieve an eternal life if you have faith in God or Jesus Christ and um, so Jesus Christ is is the son of the God who sent him in this world to save us ginatawag na siya nga misaya and uh, he died on the cross for the sin of the humanity we also believe in the birth life death and gapati gapati christian agap nga my second coming si Jesus. Ako Christian ako, gapati ako sa amuna. Kay amuna ang ginapatihan namon. And the Holy Bible na, nakabutang dira ang mga importante nga mga banal na kasunutan or mga testament nga gintudlo ni Jesus. And the most important holiday para sa mga Christian is a Christmas which celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. And the cross is the symbolize of Christianity. Customs and practices of Christian. Sacrament of baptism and communion are practiced by Christian churches. Baptism symbolizes birth in Christian world. Baptism, it is the sacrament through which we are reborn as children of God, united with Jesus into his death and resurrection. 
claims our original sin and personal sins and welcome into the church and the mystical body of Christ. So I know nga tanan kita na bunyagan. Ang pagbunyag is isa na kapamaagi kay para mahugasan ng atong sala. Bisan baby pa kita sa ganyang bunyagan kita. Kaya nga ami sala kita kay tungod sa original sin which is kay Adan and Eva. Amo nang ginabunyagan kita while communion it is an act of remembrance of Christ's love. Christmas and Resurrection are two major celebrations in Christianity. Christmas is a birth of Christ celebrated during December 25. The Resurrection of Christ, it is a set of doctrine of Christianity, is based on the belief that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead on the third day after his crucifixion and that through his conquering of death, all believers will consequently share in his victory over sin death at the devil. It was celebrated during Easter Sunday. Muslims believe in Allah, their one God. So, kung sa, uh, sa ang mga Muslim niya, ang tawag nila sa ilang God is Allah. While sa Catholic, sa atin niya, as a Christian, ang tawag natin sa atin na God is Jesus Christ. So, they believe in unity and universality of God. In addition, Muslims have a very strong sense of community. Islam means willing submission to God. So, ready kit sila ka lang mag-submit sa ilang to their God. And then, the holy book of Islam is called the Quran. Moreover, Islam is a strictly monotheistic religion and the adherents called Muslims regard the Prophet Muhammad as the last and most perfect of God's messengers who include Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and others. The sacred scripture of Islam, which is the Quran, that contains God's revelations to Muhammad. The sayings and deeds of Prophet recorded in the Sona are also an important source of belief and practice in Islam. Moreover, Subali the Muslim are the the Muslims are very loyal loyal to their God or what they call Allah because they have a strong faith towards it. Thank you, Ms. Manzo. And for the last topic, we will talk about the culture and practice as Muslim belief. There are five pillars of Islam. First is the Shahada. Shahada is a profession of faith. It is a sacred testament given for Muslims to uphold throughout their lifetime and embody in all of their actions and intentions. Muslims bear witness the oneness of God by reciting the creed, There's no God, but God and Muhammad is the prophet of God. Means nga wala sila may ibang ginapat, nga, ginapatihan but Allah. So unlike sa Aton, si Lord Aton nga ginapatihan, sila yan si Allah. So, um, Muhammad, si Muhammad kuno is messenger kung God pala sa ila. So Muslims repeat the statement many times a day during their prayer. Next one is the Salat. So, Muslims pray facing Mecca five times a day at dawn, noon, mid-afternoon, sunset, and after dark. Prayer includes the recitation of the opening chapter of the Quran, and it's sometimes performed on a small rug or mat used for this purpose. So, pwede sila kapangade individually, or pwede man sila sa mosque where the leader in, in a prayer guides the congregation. So, men gather in a mosque for the noonday prayer. So, women are welcome, but they're not obliged to participate. Third one is the zakat. In accordance with Islamic law, Muslims donate a fixed portion of their income to the community member in need. Many rules and wealthy Muslims build mosques, drinking fountains, schools, hospitals, and other institution, both as religious duty and to secure the blessings associated with charity. So next is Hajj. 
every Muslim whose health and finances permit it must make at least one visit to the holy city of Mecca in present-day Saudi Arabia. The Kaaba, a cubical structure covered in black embroidered hanging, is at the center of the Hara Mosque in Mecca. Muslims believe that it is the host Abraham built for God and faced in its direction when they pray. So lastly, Saum, Saum or Sham, which re refers to the fasting during the month of Ramadan, it is the fourth pillar of Ma Islam. During the daylight hours of Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, all healthy adult Muslims are required to abstain from food and drink. Through this temporary deprivation, they renew their awareness of and gratitude for everything God has provided in their lives, including the Quran, which was first revealed during this month.